Hey there, welcome and thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and share with friends and family. Also, if this is your first time here, I hope you consider subscribing and joining our YouTube family. And don't forget to click on that bell button so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. So for today's tutorial, we're going to make a few different style pumpkin decorations. Now the first um, one we're going to need for our first style is one of these foam pumpkins. And all we're going to do is cut around the top. There's a, an actual lining there, an edge that you can just follow and take off the top of the pumpkin. And we won't be using it, um, so you can set that aside. And I'm going to paint mine white. Now, depending on how rustic or how uh, white you want your pumpkin or any color you're going to paint it, if it's a light color, I will recommend you to paint it twice, but um, go ahead and allow it to dry in between each coat. So since it's the, um, almost the 1st of September, I'm going to start decorating um, this weekend coming up. So I'm starting to finalize all the different holiday uh, pumpkins and different decors that I'm making. I'm sure I'm going to make some throughout the month as well, but I'm trying to finish up and make um, most of my fall decor this week so I can have it all ready to start decorating. And this paint does dry pretty fast on this um, pumpkin, so it doesn't take too long. But go ahead and set that aside and allow that to dry. Now for our second style, we're going to use two of these uh, velvet pumpkins. And we're going to remove one of the stems from the bottom, what's going to be the bottom of our um, pumpkin stack. And we're going to stack them just like so. Now you can just glue it, uh, but what I decided to do was get some paper clips. Um, you can even get wiring. And we're going to stick one end to the bottom pumpkin and then um, actually stack the top pumpkin on top of the wires. It is kind of hard to uh, poke in these um, paper clip wirings into the pumpkin because of the fabric. But once you do that, just go ahead and do the top pumpkin and just um, get another paper clip or um, maybe even a needle or what have you or the ends of your scissors and just poke two holes into your fabric from the top pumpkin. That way it can be easier for you to insert the wiring and then you just push them together like so. Now you don't have to add glue, but I did. So I just added some hot glue to one of the pumpkins and then just push them together and set them aside to uh, dry for a few minutes. And you can twist them around and just make sure they sit and lay right the way you want them. Now what I'm using is one of the stems of the hydrangeas and I already cut it up and then some more of the greenery um, that you can purchase at Dollar Tree as well. Um, so those are one stem of the hydrangeas and I'm using two stems of those green flowers, two stems of the white and green um, daisies I believe they're called or lilies and then two of the orange uh, peachy color or pink color um, roses that I purchased at Dollar Tree as well. But you can pick any kind of floral that you choose to um, match your decor or you want to, depending on your pumpkins as well. Now uh, with the same paper clip, I'm just kind of going to poke holes on the top of my pumpkin and I'm also moving the stem up a little bit. And I'm going to continue to do that and insert my stems of each flower that I'm going to use into 
the pumpkin like so. Now you can add glue, uh, but I'm choosing not to because later on down the line, I might want to change the florals or I just might not want any florals on top of this anymore. And you won't be able to see it. Um, the holes or openings where I inserted the, fl the flowers. So you just go ahead and play with whatever flowers that you're going to make your arrangement with until you're happy and um, I do recommend like you see me here using a paper clip or something sharp to insert and op make an opening in the pumpkin top uh, just because of the fabric. Just like so and you just continue to do that until you're happy with your flower arrangement. And you can add as much or as little flowers as you choose to. Let me know in the comments down below what flowers you'll be using. And here I'm just cutting a piece of the stem from one rose to add it to the other rose. And I'm going to add the roses in the center of my flower arrangement, just like so. And this was a pretty simple, easy um, pumpkin decor. And this, I'm not your ordinary pumpkin. Instead of having bases, um, you can just stack pumpkins. You can add, you know, stack three, four pumpkins and then add your flower arrangement to the top. And it's a cute alternative instead of a vase. So this is your second style. Now for our third style, I'm going to use again one of these velvet pumpkins. And I'm using the dark forest green color pumpkin, which this is a beautiful color. And I'm going to use some black ribbon, some brown ribbon or tan ribbon. And then some of these black sequence ribbons. And I'm just cutting them up like so to make single strands. The sequence ribbon usually comes in a row of two or five, which this one was the five. And I'm the each single individual strand, I'm going to hot glue a little bit on the top and glue it around the pumpkin where every indent is at, at on the pumpkin, just like so. And you don't need a lot of hot glue, um, just a little dot in the center some on the top or the end of the pumpkin of the sequence string and then one at the bottom and you just continue to do that all around your pumpkin just like so now you don't have to use a black sequence i know they have gold or um, they even have the silver color purple uh, but this is what i wanted to use for mine and whatever sequence you do add um, you can just add the same color ribbons so once you're done adding all the sequence around your pumpkin, this is the way it looks and you can finish it there. It looks really cute. But what I did was I had some extra sticker uh, sequence diamonds, I guess you could say, from the Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just going to wrap my stem around with these sticker gems. Now, if you, uh, some of these stickers don't stay on too good. So if you get a package that doesn't have a good uh, enough stick to your stickers, just go ahead and add some fix-all glue or some hot glue and then just add on your sequence that way. So once you're done with that, what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut my ribbons that I'm going to use, which I'm using one of the black ribbons and I'm just making a bow the way I normally do. I'm just trying to make it the size that'll fit the pumpkin. And once you're happy with that size, what I do is just add little dots of glue to my bow. And there you have it. And I'm going to do two of the black bows and one of the tan color bows. 
Now my black bows, I'm just making the simple single hoop or loop um, bow. And then for my tan color, I'm going to make um, the four loops. And again, let me know down below what color you're going to be using. I know the velvet pumpkins that they have at Dollar Tree, um, they do have a few colors, which I try to get every color that I could find. Um, it took me a while to find these, actually. I got orange, this green, and two different color tan colors. Uh, pumpkins, but I know there's also a turquoise color, um, but there wasn't any where I went So hopefully you guys have some luck and find some that color as well if that matches your decor So here is my Tan bow and what I'm going to do is just glue them all together And you can glue them whichever way you see fit what I'm doing is going to place my tan bow in between my black bows. So I'm gluing it onto one bow and then I'm going to glue the black bow on top of my tan bow, just like so. And there you have it. Now, since I still had some of this black sequence, what I did was go ahead and make a bow with my back black sequence to add to the top to give it more of that finished look and to match the glam that I added to my pumpkin. Another thing, if you don't find any velvet um, pumpkins and you really like that style, um, instead of going out and purchasing velvet pumpkins, well, uh, something you might want to think about and consider doing is going to your local thrift stores and looking through the clothes, shirts, or dresses. There's always velvet um, older style colored uh, dresses that are really pretty and you can get, you know, get them for a few dollars and make tons of pumpkins, you know, all different sizes. So that's an option that I was thinking of doing if I couldn't find them, but I got pretty lucky and found some. So I was pretty happy with that. But if not, they're pretty simple to make, uh, the velvet pumpkins with the fabric that you can purchase at your local thrift store. So here, this is our first pumpkin that we painted. What I'm going to do is add some of this greenery that I had purchased at my uh, Target dollar spot, and it was for a dollar. And I just cut that up. There was a stem of three. I'm going to insert a piece of foam, extra foam that I had um, into my pumpkin. You don't have to. You can just add some newspaper or something just to give you something to um, stick in your flower decor in. And I'm using my greenery. I'm using two of these hydrangeas that are white. And if you have trouble with your flowers coming off um, from the stem a lot, just add a little dot of glue and it'll stay just fine. But here I am. What, do, what I'm doing is adding the bigger pieces first and then going from there. I'm going to add one of these uh, succulents that I purchased at Dollar Tree. I have forgotten the word. <laughs> one of the succulents. And it's one of the larger ones. And I'm just adding that in the center. And now I'm going just to continue adding some of my greenery around the pumpkin until I'm happy. This is um, comes in the purple stems that was like the lavender stems that you could purchase at uh, Walmart for 98 cents. And here's a different succulent that I purchased as well. I believe it was at Michael's and it came in like a bunch of them and I just cut them in different strands, individual strands. And um, another idea, if you like the succulent look but don't want the green look, you can easily spray paint your succulents black or, you know, any color that you want to um, have them to add to match your decor. And here I'm adding another smaller succulent to the side, like so. And that's just the center of a larger succulent that I just cut. Um, I do that a lot with my succulents. I just cut the center out just to make two succulents out of one. And here's another stem of the purple um, greenery that I got from Walmart, the ones that were at 98 cents. So 
And now I'm just going to add the rest of the greenery that came in the longer stem from Target. And you can just insert them anywhere. I'm inserting them actually in between my hydrangeas. And there you have it. How cute is that? Now you can leave it as is, or you can continue to add more. But what I decided to do was actually add a bow to the front with some of my jute twine. And I'm just making a simple bow by wrapping it around my fingers a few times. Depending on how large you want your a bow, just how many times you wrap it around your fingers. And then with an extra piece of the jute twine, just tie a knot and work with it until you have a bow. Adding a little bit of glue, and then I'm just going to glue it onto what's going to be the front of my decor, like so. So what do you guys think? Which one is your favorite? I really can't decide, but let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite. Here's number one. Number two. Or is it number three? I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, you guys stay blessed. Bye.